Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! <laughs> oh no! So, this is Faith the Unholy Trinity, and I've been informed that I will enjoy it, but it is a spooky game. That's all I've been told. So, like any good... That, that lovely old computer startup noise. Um, so I just went on the internet and purchased it. Uh, I've seen exactly one trailer for it. A hot, well, a few seconds of a trailer. September 21st, 1987. <laughs> That, that voice is pretty trippy. I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. House renovations will be like that. I gotta be honest. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Why do you need the Vatican to approve house renovations, friend? Oh, that's the white thing. That's, that's the dog collar. Faith, the unholy trinity. changed my oh no oh that's gonna be latin isn't it that's gonna be latin for the for the words that are on screen amazing i don't know anything really about this so the story is <clears throat> i was informed i will enjoy this and i should play it but i should play it as blind as possible so here i am <laughs> let's let's begin Oh, there are three chapters, The Unholy Trinity. Of course there are. Let's start chapter one. It's a very spooky version of Moonlight Sonata. Oh, God! God! <laughs> Don't stay on the road! Don't stay on the road! Get off the road! Get off the road! <laughs> what a way to start! Alright, let's figure out what we're doing. Uh, what do the buttons do? Oh, I have a cross! Vatican, not approved by the Vatican, presumably an exorcism. Um, uh, no, none of the buttons do anything else. No, they're none of, nothing. I got nothing. Spooky note. <clears throat> Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key, I'm using a controller, or the start button is a good place to start. <laughs> start is a good place to start. I like that. So that shows me... Oh, okay, so that's the road. There's a tree on my left. There's a, a a rock in the middle, and there's a house on the right, and what looks like Disneyland on the top of the map. Excellent. Uh, no, no, don't exit. Resume. <laughs> I like that the Latin for resume is resumo. So, I mean, it obviously wants me to go up there, so I'm going to go another way. I'm going to stay off the road, though. <laughs> What's this way? <laughs> this looks a bit like the Oregon Trail. Or Oregon Trail, depending on which version you've played. <clears throat> Is this an endlessly scrolling... Is this a scroller? Am I not going... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, I can... It changes... It changes... Uh... uh panel it changes place interesting now if i try and cross the road yes i can cross the road oh but i can't go down oh i see okay well okay so that's a that's a bit of an endless loop stay off the road so let's go this way <clears throat> let's go north into the forest So which way was I going? Let's see what this thing is on the left. 
this like tree looking thing. <gasps> what the shit was that? I just, I literally just spammed A to try and, like, that's all I can do. Ooh. That's like a creepy golem. Why is creepy golem here? Uh, this appears to be a dead tree, and I can hold my cross against it and release a spirit. Am I? I'm sanctifying stuff. Excellent stuff. Today, I noticed Amy's favorite, f favorite tree, favorite tree, favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it, and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. Uh, I guess it's good that she's found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks at, from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Well, screw them then. <laughs> this is a weird, creepy spider golem. Oh. Oh. Oh no, something's dead and it's surrounded by what looks like rocks. Can I... Chaos reigns. Chaos reigns. <laughs> can I... Can I sanctify you? Is this a... I'm just stepping on remains at this point. Chaos reigns. Where am I? It doesn't update the map, nor show me where I am. Okay. <clears throat> what is this way? Oh, dear. Hello. Hi. Oh. I just wanted to pet you. Cannot pet the deer. Uh, I think I am now... Oh, a puddle. <laughs> am I going to disappear into the puddle? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I, no, I can, I can sanctify the puddle, though. There's an evil puddle. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults, as opposed to irregular adults. Uh, they told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle from storage. Okay. Hello, dear. Yep. Yep. Oh, what is that? Go away. Jesus saves. Go away. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really pleased that works because that's the only thing I can do. It's you too, mate. I don't know where I'm going now. I'm just, oh, I'm back at the, the dead. What I presume is a cat or a fox or a dog or something. Remains. Uh, okay, let's, well, let's, let's continue. Go away. Oh, do I like that? What is it? Oh, a stone circle? Well, is this the thing in the middle? What are you? Oh, I can sanctify it, though. Whatever it is. <laughs> Sheet ghost. Uh, public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the... Beast System, Wednesday, 8pm. Don't be late. God, this is a creepy, creepy game. Oh, oh go away! No! Oh, I did it like that. <laughs> Look at his creepy fucking face. <laughs> right, get off the road. <laughs> We've learned this. Uh, yep, got that. Alright, let's go up. What, what was that? Obviously, I'm going to do what any normal person in a horror movie does and follow the creepy gribbly. Oh, creepy gribbly! Look at this! What is this? This purple thing up here. What's going on? Where are you going? Come back, weird creepy gribbly. Go away, go away, go away. Give away, go away, go away, go away. There's a, there's a small purple baby. Come back, small purple baby. Why do I look like tentacle? <laughs> I'm not, I look like a tentacle, a poorly animated tentacle. Where are you going? Well, there's bones on the ground. I, I need to sanctify the bones. I need to do priest stuff. 
Bob, the kids and I miss you every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. Cultists. Uh, all this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Hugs and kisses. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Gotta be more. This is not a. This is a twitchy game. I didn't realize this was a. Oh, a shed and a note. The Martins' house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out of the middle of the gravel path, and is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father. Allard? Allard. Father Allard seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allard explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. Okay. Am I going? Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Excellent stuff. <clears throat> oh, I saw something at the window. A key. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna... Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Go away! Come here, Bob. Bob. So, so I'm there. Presumably, where that that little orange hut is. What's to the right of me? I'm going to assume that the key is to the Disneyland mansion. Um, oh no, last time I went off wandering, I got killed <laughs> by Spider Gollum. So if I'm here, to the right, to the left of the hut, is that, maybe that's not what this is? These bones aren't that grey thing in the middle. I wonder if it is those stones. That I sanctified earlier. Oh, it's a well! Oh! Okay. Oh, no! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! I'm pretty... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday. May 3rd, uh, 12 to 4, directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. I'm kind of thankful that that spider gribbly comes out when I'm in the middle of the screen. Because otherwise, I think if it were a proper, like, jumpy, twitchy, like, whoa -ah, whoa -ah, I think I'd be in trouble. Just while I get used to the controls. Get used to the controls. Like, up, down, left, right, and A. <laughs> This, this forest seems nice. I mean, I'd, I'd definitely not picnic here, but I wouldn't deter people I dislike from picnicking here. Oh, good, the, the purple gripplies in the window of the red, spooky Disneyland mansion. Um, is this... Ugh. I hate all of this. Um, nice big rug, though. Is this one of the sheet ghosts? Is this a sheet ghost? Are you a sheet ghost? No. Is this a, a haunted pop plant? Let's go have a look. Whoop, whoop. Do you need Jesus? No. What about this coffee table? Does this coffee table need Jesus? No, but the picture needs Jesus. The picture had a ghost in it. My God, what's happened to your face? Uh, what does this note say? Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair. What? I thought she was in the basement. Perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. 
Horns, it, is, it, does this clock need Jesus? Does anything need Jesus in here? No? Okay, let's go in here. <coughs> not not haunted. Oh, a mirror. How exciting. Ooh! <laughs> this. I need to... Go away. <laughs> go away, she ghost. There's a consistent sheet ghost behind me. That's unfortunate. Uh, and uh, no, uh, this this bed appears clean. Just doing my rounds. Ooh, I'm very aware there's no music all of a sudden. <gasps> it's a bit like phasmophobia. It is a bit like phasmophobia. Is there anyone there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you send us a sign? Can you hear me? Haunted TV? That TV's massive. If I'm a person, that TV's ginormous. Haunted pot plant? Can you send me a sign? Haunted picture? Haunted clock? Nope. <gasps> Ooh, the kitchen. The spice rack. Ooh. The haunted picture on the fridge. Oh, excellent. There's Nate in his little birthday cultist's robe, and there's Azazel, the demon, just guiding him on his way. Brilliant. What is that? Is that like a, a weird pumpkin? Can I can I give you Jesus? Do you need Jesus? <laughs> Anybody need a Jesus? I have a Jesus. Anybody need a Jesus? <laughs> can I leave? I'd like to leave. I'd, I'd quite like the idea of not being in here anymore. It, does this lead to... Yeah, in here. Okay. Okay, let's go to the basement then. Oh, actually, no. If Oh, well, which, which way do I go? Like, if Amy's in the basement and the attic, if Amy is omniscient, uh, then where? which direction am I going in? Oh. <laughs> Probably this direction. At least they're trying to stay in shape with the exercise bike. That's a thing. Is anything here haunted? It's a bit weird that I find law by just rubbing a crucifix across all the uh, items in this house. Hello? Oh, this isn't creepy in the slightest. Hello? Hey, it's a Simon Says game. <laughs> I had one of those when I was a kid. Uh, an etch sketch a what looks like a, a talk boy, and a, one of the telephones from Toy Story. One of the little pulley telephones that I think every kid had at some point. Every toddler had a, a, pulley, a pulley phone like that, I think. Because it was cheap. Mm. Haunted. Oh, a haunted doll. Excellent. Good. Uh, Bob must have stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it the next time I have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Jesus fucking Christ. Amy didn't seem excited by the doll. Uh, she, I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. What clinic? What did they do at the clinic? Uh, I guess I was the only one who thought to check the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me when I first met her downstairs. Looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. Uh, we spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but no one came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. <laughs> I don't I don't know Latin, so I don't know. I, I, I hope that's not a prerequisite of this game. Haunted bedside table? No. So, hang on. Whose room is this? Oh, bathroom. Lovely. Drippy, drippy. Haunted shower? Nope. Haunted pictures? Nope. Haunted toilet? No. Nope. My toilet's normally haunted. Haunted toothbrush? Sink? This is a huge bathroom. The resale market on this house must be amazing. Haunted duck? Haunted duck, yeah. 
Uh, I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices uh, outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's, it's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctors, but I can't leave the boys here. Take the boys too? I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Good old Bob. Haunted picture? Nope. Can I go? No, good. I can't go to the attic. Okay. Then let's go downstairs and finish what we started. Oh, good. A mannequin. What is this? Is this like a spider, spider web? Yeah, it looks like a spider web. Haunted mannequin? Nope. <clears throat> Can I get through here? No, I cannot. I'm I'm stuck on invisible geometry. Ooh, blood. That's uh, that's that's nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Red paint. Someone spilled. Oh, someone's built blue paint in here as well. And there appears to be a sheet. Oh, oh, haunted gate. Uh, dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbala. It's what you might call a pagan religion, or, you know, one of the religions before Catholicism. Uh, it's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One that the saints that one of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy, about 15. Uh, when we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muente and the figures uh, made things in the house move around. Uh, he got real quiet and scared, scared looking after that. We told him that he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Leighton. As in Professor Leighton? Who's Leighton? So Amy's the demon. Oh, that's the way out there. A sheet? Nope. Um, so Amy's the possessed one. I'm a priest. Apparently I came here with somebody else or somebody else came here with me. I don't know which. We've got the Martins who's... who's oh, God. <laughs> hate this. Whoa. Are you haunted? <laughs> Are you haunted? Nope. Are you haunted? Are you haunted? I bet you're all haunted, really. Oh, I bet you're all going to come to life. Haunted sewing machine? Nope. Okay. So let's, let's head down here then. <coughs> oh, good. Good. Someone's been Splatter painting on the floor. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing was inside that is inside of Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allard asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, being the young priest, um, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allard lying on his back unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, good. <clears throat> I'm just going to walk around this. I'm going to have a quick look either at this chair. Not a haunted chair, interestingly enough. So what happens if I go into... Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no, no, Jesus, Jesus help me, Jesus saves. Where am I now? Oh, 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 no. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. She is here. Oh. What was that noise? What was that animation? That was horrific. Well, I'm definitely not going to the toy room. Now go to the bathroom. Oh, 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 go away, go away, go away. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Just spamming Jesus everywhere. Where do I need to go now? Oh, oh, go away, go away. No, no, no. Okay. It only works on one of them. Got it. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna leave now. Bye. Oh, oh no, he was back. I'll be I'll be going now. See you later. <laughs> it's time for me to go. I'm out. Peace. I'm gonna tend to cool my way out of here. Go away. Get off the deer. That was going after the deer. Creepy. You creepy golem fuck. <laughs> corruption! Corruption! Capitalism! Corruption! 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 I'm leaving. Bye. Get back in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Priests, am I right? It's quiet. Too quiet. I am suspicious. <laughs> Ron, Ron, Ron. Who's Ron? Run, dear, run. Flee, flee for your life. Alright, let's go back in. Are you going to be back in here now? Yes, you are. Go away. Go, go away, go away. Do I have to go back to the basement? Are you going to attack me in here as well? You are. There you are. Go, go, go. Aha! Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Are you in here too? Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Jesus. Saves. Oh, good. I heard a door open upstairs. Brilliant. Let's see the mannequin room. I oh, know they're all alright. As is the weird summoning circle. Can I get like superpowers, maybe? Maybe I could be demon priest. Maybe be like a weird Marvel superhero. Oh, it's eerily quiet. It's disturbingly quiet. I don't like any of this. Hello. Oh, good. Good. The attic door's open. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, that's, that, that's a sad mannequin in the middle. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened there isn't true. She, my supervisor, father, with 
when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to the house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. Ooh, you look like a sad mannequin. Like a sad face has been painted on you, friend. <laughs> what the fuck that noise was then? Spinny crucifixes. <laughs> Jesus saves? Jesus saves? <laughs> Jesus saves? My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Jesus saves? Jesus saves? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold it. Jesus saves. I can't move while I'm holding it, so. Maybe it's for <gasps> What the fuck is that? Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, there's some real qu Oh no. Oh, where are you going? What what's going on? Where are you? Stop. Nope. Nope. Which, which, which one are you? You're that one. Ah. Ah. You're that one. Oh, I can injure you while you're there. Good. Jesus. Oh, that one. Jesus saves. <laughs> Jesus saves. Ah, go away. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Oh no, oh, oh, Jesus saves! Oh shit, I didn't get the direction right. Jesus saves! Jesus saves! Haha, <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Someone's misappropriated a, pen a pentagram on the floor to look like a satanic symbol. What the fuck? Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Jesus. Save me, Jeebus. Go away! No! It's nice that- OH NO! <laughs> you were supposed to walk three oh, times! <laughs> Fuck. Oh, well at least I'm at the- Oh god, that animation is so creepy! At least I'm at this bit. Jesus saves! Everybody else takes normal damage! Ah! Oh, you- more teeth. All right. Come on, you creepy purple bastard. Oh no! It's nice that they've put their uh, enemy, their enemies' um, directions on the floor for us. I mean, a bad. Oh no! Oh, don't let the symbols hit me. Didn't realize that. Don't let the symbols hit me at all. Got an extra hand now. You cheese. Organized religion. I will be saved by the power of all. Oh, piss. Mortis. This is like the horror game version of Super Meat Boy. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. But I'm not saying it's bad. I need to move away from that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I wonder how much range this uh, this cross has. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Enough! It has enough range. Good. Go away! Go away! 
Oh, I really want a run button. I could really do with a run button. Oh. Oh, ow. Fiddle sticks. No! Fuck. Okay. That's Andy. Run! Jesus saves. Oh no! Avoid the symbols! Right. Dodge. Duck. Dive. Dip. Avoid the symbols! Dodge. Duck. Dip. Dive. Deliver unto you. I don't know where I'm going with that sentence. Just, just Jesus. Save me, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, no. I really want a run button. This priest is very calm about everything. Oh. Go away. Go away. Now you're going to do a four, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, ah! No, go away! Where is the shadowy thing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I've screwed that one up. One, two, three, four. No, you're gonna do a three? Good. Oh, avoid the symbols. Oh, oh, two, three. Yeah. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Get your arm back in your in your face. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. <laughs> Get back to your seat. Jesus saves. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What's on here? What's out here? What? Where am I going now? What? What do I do? I have done it. Oh well, outside the house, presumably. Um. Sad mannequin. No. <laughs> You're okay. Do do do! It's my job done. I'm gonna leave now. Oh, kill her! Interesting. And I get a gun. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Uh oh! Not gonna touch my touch my controller then. How do? <laughs> Hello! It looks like a giant cigarette. <laughs> uh, is it the backyard, perhaps? Because you went out the back of the house, didn't you? I don't know where. I don't know where you've gone. Kill her. Kill her! Do I... Is it the basement? Let's go double check the basement. Just in case there's, you know... Oh, I don't think there's anything down there. <sighs> kill her. I don't want to kill her. I want to save her. Uh. Oh, oh, right. So the attic was at the top of the screen. Got it. Where do we go now? Shed? Do I need to go to the shed? Oh, this looks like a path now. Oh, the music sounds creepy. Oh, okay. This is unusual. Just taking my giant cigarette for a walk. Don't worry about me. Oh, Amy. Bye. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. There we go. We're sorted. We've done. Well, I think that's a successful mission for the Vatican. I think we can put a W in that column, everyone. I think we're all right now. I I don't think there's going to be any more problems from Amy Martin ever again. Sanctify this grave. That's fine. It's a sanctified grave. I mean, it's a little dinged up, but it's a sanctified grave. 
And now we're just going to go on our merry way. Act number one, murder a child. Act number two, <laughs> tick that off the to-do list. And then just get in our car and leave. Oh, uh, the, the well. There's more trees, weirdly. Do, 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 do. Um, hmm, interesting. I thought my car was here. Maybe it's on the next screen. Yeah! Don't get in the other side. Jesus saves. <laughs> yes, officer. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Game over. Ending one of five. Murderer. How does anybody know? How would any but police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl? A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling a sterling girl who has been missing. John Ward of Pal Palyara uh, was pulled over on Snake Meadow Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. So you didn't hear the spider demon chasing after me. You didn't hear the thing shattering through the window. None of that. Um, the officer thought it might be a poacher. It might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, uh, police located Amy's body in the woods near a now abandoned Martin home. Uh, in addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, sh Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out a second-story window of the house. The, uh, an officer who helped recall the body told reporters that Amy's face was mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed in a pr dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in the Ro in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. <laughs> new background unlocked and new cha new chapter mode. Well, let's try the others, shall we?